Hi everybody, welcome back to Project Happy Home. For those of you who are new here, I'm Tanya, a doctor, lawyer, turned homeschool mom of three kids ages 11, 8, and 6. If you are interested in videos about secular homeschooling, raising a child with ADHD, and homeschooling in a more essentialist fashion, you have come to the right place, so be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And if you don't want to miss any videos, nowadays you do have to hit that bell, but I will leave that up to you. In today's video, I am showing you one of our favorite workbook series, and that is the 180 Days of Language by Shell Education. This one is the kindergarten edition. Nowadays, we actually don't keep these workbooks together. We split them up into weekly folders. That's what we've been doing for the past year, and I really enjoy that method of splitting up workbooks like this. This is a workbook that should take your student no more than five minutes per page max. So I really like it. It's a nice way of reviewing language concepts in the same exact way every single workbook sheet. It reviews capitalization, punctuation, parts of speech, and spelling at the kindergarten. If you are interested in staying true to common core standards, or if your district requires you to provide that information about how it correlates, the book makes it pretty easy to do that. Every single page is oriented in a, in a very similar fashion where you have a practice page number, and then you have a few problems and they go in the same exact order. For example here, you can see on day seven and eight, the day is marked right at the top. It'll go all the way to 180. You have a little capitalization practice here, punctuation practice, verb or noun practice, so parts of speech, and writing the missing letter. If you flip through, you'll see that the pages stay very similar. The student can have a little score here at the side. We never really did that. We just looked at it together and did it. It's a very approachable, very manageable sheet for students to do on their own with a little help, obviously, at the kindergarten level. They talk about plural nouns here, but you can see it's capitalization, punctuation, a part of speech, and a missing letter. It goes on in exactly the same way. Very manageable activities. And I just really liked it. I liked how the student felt stronger and stronger with these skills, how it kept on going. You'll see here with capitalization right here, she made a little mistake because she realized, oh, well, this one's already capitalized. So what else am I looking for? You're looking for that I. As you go on, you can see the sentences are getting a little bit longer. The words are getting a little bit more complex, which should be correlating with how your student is learning to read throughout that year. You're getting to some pluralization here. Again, that punctuation difference, being able to read a sentence and deciding whether it should be a question mark or an exclamation mark or a period. Here you have missing letters now with, with a more complicated word, so leaf or gate. But again, it reviews back where you have cat. Here you had two different words to capitalize, so you're learning to combine those concepts. And I'm just gonna flip through really quickly because I think you get an idea of what this is. I really like this book here. You have circled the nouns, so you're having more than one noun in the word. I like how it's the same exact order. It's very reassuring to the student. Uh, they can see that they're learning this skill in a real time fashion. So as you can see, they're picking up this skill in a very real time fashion. They can see their progress. They can see that they understand capitalization, punctuation, writing the words. And one could argue that, you know, this is probably simpler uh, than this many lessons needs to be, but I like that it takes you a few seconds. They don't have to rewrite an entire sentence. They literally have to just write down the punctuation marks. So. Now you're getting into which word is spelled correctly instead of just adding in the letter. And that's also nice because both of these sounds can make the same A sound, but they're having to distinguish between them to decide on which one is actually the correct option. At the very end, you do have spelling lists and a little certificate. You have a few pages of rules for capitalization, punctuation, parts of speech. And then, like I said, the little spelling list. So we didn't really use these spelling lists. We did at the very beginning, but then we had other things. Um, enter if you dare. Uh, I believe there was a, a disc here that has since been lost. There is an answer key as well, but at this level, you probably wouldn't need one. So this is 180 Days of Language for Kindergarten. I will be sharing these as we complete them or as I find completed workbooks. Right now, this will go into the recycle bin for us. But I really, really enjoyed these workbooks. I think that incorporating workbooks that empower your students to see real-time 
assessment on their own of their skills and real time accumulation of a skill is really helpful. So that's why I like these. It's an easy thing to add to a morning folder or even a substitute folder, you know, like when you're just not up to um, teaching, etc. So this was 180 Days of Language for Kindergarten by Shell Education. It's a standard daily workbook for us for all different grade levels. And if you have any more questions about them, I'm happy to answer them in the comments down below. I will link um, them in the description box down below, probably into my Amazon store. Whenever you guys use my affiliate links, I do appreciate it. It helps motivate me to continue sharing resources. And you know, it does take up time to do this. So I appreciate your support. As always, you guys, thank you for spending some of your time with me. I wish you the very best day.